Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here, and welcome back to another Dice Tower unboxing. Today, I'm going to be taking a quick look at Ten Penny Parks here, a game from Thunderworks Games, Nate Linhart, artwork by Vincent Dutre. And here we've got the back of the box. It lets us know it's a game for one to four players, ages 14 and up, 45 to 75 minutes. You are building up a park, of course. You're having different attractions, constructing the grounds, all sorts of exciting, pretty things. Let's take a look at it. All right. Here we've got our box, we've got our bags, very nice, always appreciate when a company includes baggies. We've got some uh, wooden characters here, which are a nice size actually. So here we've got different colors, this very lovely classy looking black pawn, very nice. We've got those and a few other colors here, and then these little trees that are going to go onto your uh, grounds, and you'll need to remove the trees in order to build over that spot. So, nice gr deep green on those. So, there we go with that. We've got in here a uh, the catalog for Thunderworks Games. We've got some cards, which I'll come back to in just one second. Our rule book. Let's quickly take a look at that. Explaining all the components, the setup with great illustrations, income step, actions step, the different action spaces, the bonuses step, advertising and cleanup. And then some solo rules on the back of the, of the rule book there. So there we go. Looks good. Then down here we've got the board. This will be the central board with the different characters we can appeal to, the tracks we're moving up on, thrill, awe, and joy tracks. And then that carousel that's going to be built in place in this spot. It does look like this punches out and you built the carousel to sit in that space, which is very, uh, very interesting. This is quite thick cardboard, by the way. I'll go ahead and punch one out. I mean, this is really, really chunky stuff. And it seems to punch very cleanly, so that's nice. This shovel, I'm assuming, is a star player marker. Very good. And again, I'll construct all this jazz later on, but for now, we'll just take a look at it. This has got to come out of here. There we go. See? Big old hole right in the board. And so, yes, the carousel will sit in there and rotate. So there we go. There is that. We've got down here the uh, ground extensions that the players are going to be using to construct their park. Same kind of cardboard, very, very thick, very nicely done. More victory points, or at least what I assume are victory points. Here we've got one of the starting parks, the grounds for that double-sided, and then money. Again, everything's just kind of falling right out of it, which is lovely. The uh, money tokens here, as you can tell, look like dollars, and they are that same thickness of cardboard, which is hefty, hefty stuff. So there we go. Everything just sort of falls apart very cleanly and easily. Nice. All right, got more of that, some more of that, and then down here we get to some polyomino action where we've got the different, uh, the different attractions we'll be building. So a labyrinth and the storm giant, wizard's duel, and these are all, of course, different things we'll be putting out on the boards when we construct them. So. Let me punch this out. There we go. And I'll get this dragon's flight. So it'll be something kind of like this. 
as you have here, I have fair few ad fair view rather adventure. Perhaps I'll build uh, you know dragon's flight right there. Yeah, I like it. And then a few more down here. So down here we've got again the different colors: crack and swirl, and the saber tooth show. All sorts of things. There we go. All right, so let's take a look at the cards. It's just the final thing we need to look at here. So the cards are seem to be uh, linen finished cards. Yeah, the good stuff too. Yeah, they feel good. Pretty good thickness too. They're not too thin. And then we've got, of course, the different uh, attractions represented on here. The way they'll affect what the players do, I guess. Awe and joy and all that stuff. The cost. There we go. The different colors. And then back here we've got, I guess, some uh, goal cards. There we go. Most awesome. Most thrilling. Best landscaped. <laughs> okay. And then some player aids for the players. Explaining the steps and the scoring. Very good, very good. This looks uh, quite well finalized, right? Very, very well thought out, well edited, well put together, and uh, the manufacturing seems, seems to be on point. We've also got these little ones over here. I should punch out a couple of these and see what's going on with them. So these are just a one, a one square place. I think they're supposed to be little shops around your, uh, your area. So we got these. And then there's ones with little hot dogs, which I guess are the uh, the little food stands, hot dog stands, or just whatever. Yeah, there we go. All right, everybody, so that's it for Ten Penny Parks, as you can see right here. Thanks for checking this out with me. Stay tuned for more on this game right here. But I will catch you on the next one. My name is Z Garcia. Have a great day.